10 Bishan for Zay facts that are as charming as they are. Their unique appearance and lively personality make them a popular breed, but how well do you know these charming pooches? These Bishan for Zay facts might just surprise you. The Bishan for Zay is an iconic all white dog breed that is very popular around the world due to its adorable face, small stature, and medium length coat with corkscrew curls. Rarely weighing more than 15 pounds and standing around 11 inches tall, they're the perfect dog for city and country life, for car rides, and for cuddles. Bichon Frise makes surprisingly good watchdogs, but they're also highly affectionate dogs, so if you're considering the breed, you'll be happy to know they're pretty versatile. Here are 10 Bichon Frise facts you may not know. 1. Bichon Frise are centuries old dogs. The Bichon Frise has survived through the ages. It has remained a constant throughout civil war, world wars, and the fall of empires. The Bichon breed type originated in Spain, Tenerife, to be exact, where they were used as sailing dogs, but it's the French that developed them into the lapdog we know today. 2. The Bichon Frise was popular amongst nobles. Bichon Frise dogs were associated with nobles in Spain, Italy, and France as early as the 13th century. The breed became a favorite dog of Italian nobles in the 14th century. King Henry III of France was in love with them and used to carry them wherever he went in a basket around his neck, which ladies of the court reportedly adopted as a new dog based fashion. 3. The Bichon Frise is a work of art, literally. The Bichon Frise has been depicted in many different works of art throughout history, especially since they were royal lap warmers. Bichon Frise can be found in a ton of art from 16th century Europe by artists like Francisco de Goya. August Renoir, Titian, and Sir Joshua Reynolds. These adorable dogs were always ready for their close-up. 4. They don't shed much. Considered a hypoallergenic dog breed, the Bichon Frise has a fairly low shedding coat, so those who suffer from the sniffles should be very interested in the breed. They aren't completely hypoallergenic, no dog technically is, but they have a plush, dense white coat that looses little hair. Their coat tends to catch any hair that sheds, so they don't leave a huge mess around the house. Their coat does, however, require regular grooming because of it is a double coat that is quite dense. 5. The U.S. only got the Bichon Frise in the 50s. The Bichon Frise may have been around Europe since the 13th century, but the dogs didn't make their way to America until the 1950s. The first American-born Bichon Frise litter came in 1956, and later two breeders in different areas of the country acquired the breed, which began the development of the line in the U.S. The Bichon Frise wasn't recognized by the AKC until 1972. 6. There are many kinds of Bichon dogs. As mentioned earlier, the Bichon breed originated in Spain as a sailing dog, and was then adopted by the French and turned into the Bichon Frise, or the royal lap dogs we know today. Bichons were actually developed into four categories, the Bichon Frise, the Maltese, the Bolognese, and the Havanese. The Bolognese originated in Italy, Hence the name, the Havanese may have come from crossbreeding with poodles but is now the national dog of Cuba, and the Maltese is believed to come from South Central Europe. 7. They inspired a French word. Bichon Frise was so beloved by royals and was treated so extravagantly by them, they were carried around in baskets by a king, after all, that they inspired a new French word. The word by Connor is a verb in French that means to pamper. No wonder those pups can be a bit spoiled. 8. They were used as circus dogs. In the late 1800s Bichon Frise were used as circus dogs, after many of the nobles that owned them were either imprisoned or executed. Street entertainers took a liking to the adorable dogs, and found they were incredibly easy to train. Even now, you'll find it pretty easy to teach a Bichon Frise how to do tricks, as they're natural-born performers. 9. Celebrities love them. Many celebrities have owned a Bichon Frise, showing that they maintain their elevated status centuries later. Celebrities who have had a Bichon Frise dog as a pet include high school musicals Ashley Tisdale, Thelma and Louise's Susan Sarandon, Wicked's Kristen Chenoweth, Funny Girl's Barbara Streisand, Calamity Jane's Doris Day, and Desperate Housewives Eva Longoria. 10. The Bichon Frise has won Best of Show at Westminster more than once. It may have taken them a little while to become members of the AKC, but the Bichon Frise breed performs very well at shows. In 2001, a Bichon Frise named JR won Best of Show at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, and in 2018 a Bichon Frise named Flynn took the top spot for the breed again. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, 
guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.